Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I have a little project I have a blade server here it has two CN processors in it and there are three gigahertz but they are dual cores each of them I also have a couple of quad cores laying around and these are the 5300 series and the catch is that this server does not support quad core processors it's only meant for using dual core processors but I found that it will actually use the quad cores it will be complaining about it but it will be using them but we're gonna try and change those out so if you saw my last video on my blade things you will know why I found this out let's go into the blade server and see what we got here is the blade server and on the back of it there is all the useful information and this blade server is a this blade server is an 8853 L3G and that means that the system board in this blade server is so old that it does not support the Intel Xeon 5400 series it only supports the probably the 5000 the 5100 series and maybe the 5200 and the 50 and now it kind of supports the 5300 series they will kind of run in it we're gonna take that apart take the cpus out and exchange them and see what happens so to get into the server you open these leathers and they're in this one has two hard drives and it has 16 gigs of ram and two cpus just gonna unscrew the cpus where did i put the screwdriver and these cpus are undone when a normal what do you call that a straight screwdriver uh, no idea so i'm just gonna loosen them each a little bit so that the cpu comes up straight instead of tipping over and to get this out you have to release the front of the server as well there is two small levels down here on each side and the front will come out just a little bit and you can take off the heatsink and there is some heatsink compound I'm gonna clean that off let's just do the same thing on the other CPU Down here we have the two CPUs and to get those out you just open this leather and open this up. So it's fairly simple. You just take out these CPUs Oops. and these should be 3 gigahertz 5160s. Just remove the compound of that. Whoa, this CPU is even slower than I thought. I thought this was a 3 GHz, this is only a 2 GHz. I just looked it up and this CPU only scores about 1395. So compared to that, this CPU, the E5335, that scores 2559. So that's a nice, well it's almost double. Or at least plus 1200 CPU points. For each CPU that I change. Well, there's two in it, so it's more or less, it's almost gonna be double as fast. If they're gonna be doing that, I'm gonna be cheating a little bit because I have another server to put these in. But be right back. I cheated a little bit in this server. The CPUs are already out. You can see the RAM blocks suddenly change to black, and there's only one hard drive. Uh, it's missing one over here. But this server. I was playing with in my last video and that didn't work so now this is the one that is being reunited with these CPUs but compared to the one we just opened up we will get almost double the performance compared to that one and this server is exactly the same model on the processor there is this this little triangle and that goes up there there is other marks on the in the CPU sockets so that you should not be able to put this in wrong except if you really want to okay. 
and I'm gonna be putting on this heat sink heat sink compound I think I paid two two dollars for this in China I'm gonna put this down so that I don't get heat sink compound everywhere everybody has their own way of doing this but well I do it my way so you don't need a whole lot it just needs a little bit these heat sinks are not very dirty um, just dry that off it's not bad at all put that straight down and the other one as well and take them and I'm gonna fasten them just make sure that it gets the screw get connected and just fasten them a little bit each so that the pressure is going down on the compound equally and the rest. so more or less the server has just been upgraded in this case it has just been reunited with those two processors again after my failure in the last video but compared to the other one we saw it's double as fast so yeah it's ready to go into the server I even put the text bag on and it will be blinking really fast right there on it it's kind of sniffs the server and sees if it's good there and it just finished that so now we should be able to power it on And it powered on. So let's go to the screen. And it complains here that this processor is not recommended for this hardware level. But it works. It does boot. It has found the two CPU packages, 16 gigs of RAM, and now it's going to be booting my VMware. We'll be right back when it's done doing that. Server has booted, it has the two processors. Let's go into the computer and see what that says. Here is the processor that was in the computer originally. That's a Intel CN 5130, 2 GHz, and it scores 1395, and it costs like 7.6 dollars. Let's try and compare it to the one we just put in. And that one is further down because it has an E. It's right there, like that one. And let's compare those two. It comes up with, well, yeah. The price is <laughs> very considerable. I don't know, they say this is $649. I wouldn't pay that any day. They are both using the same socket, the server and the two gigahertz. Turbo speed not supported, physical cores 2 and 4, 65 watts, 80 watts, and let's see this one, first scene, first quarter of 2009, second quarter of 2000, I don't know about that, the server didn't seem like it had, had them changed, and that's a 2006, but well, I'm not gonna be arguing, and yeah, here is the test result this one gets 1395 2559 so there's a considerable advantage in using the CPU instead of this one this is what it looks like inside of VMware we get the eight CPU cores 2 gigahertz it's not the highest but well it's better than half the amount of cores so we do actually get almost twice the speed in this CPU compared to the other CPU, which is awesome. From 65 watts to 80 watts, it's not that big a difference. It's very good, right? I just went into the blade center management and number five here is doing okay. That's the one we just put in. I have number 10 down here that has an error. We're gonna 
make another video about that. Um, but let's go in and see. It actually complains every time I turn this server on. That just takes a little bit. It's very full. There. See that here the server complains about that. Well, this post bias 289 processor not recommended on this level hardware. So it is complaining, but it is also working. So it's kind of a ninja hack to use that processor. Um, but it does work. I have tested it. I have rendered films on it. So it does work. And it's not very expensive to really upgrade this server because, well, they are available cheaper. This one is eleven and a half dollars, and you get twice as much computing power for eleven and a half dollars and some wattage. Many of these are quite expensive, but once in a while there is one that is. Well, here's another one that's reasonable. You can get four of those. Each of them will be nine dollars fifty-one cents. So it's not bad. These processors are also available in higher frequencies. I do not know if they will work in this Blade server. Yeah, so it is possible to get a quad core working in even that Blade server, even though the system board is not supposed to be using quad cores, it's only meant for using dual cores. If you saw the last video I did on this, I found out that the 5400 series does not work in this. There's another system board for exactly the same blade and that will work. The one we are looking at here is the 8850... What the fuck is it? The version of the system board that we are looking on on this one does not support it, but there is a newer edition of the system board in a server that looks exactly the same and that does support the 5400 series and those quad cores, which they are a lot better. But even if you got a lot of these, it is possible to upgrade them a little bit. Actually, almost twice as much you can get out of that. So that's kind of cool, right? Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and join me over at Google Plus where I occasionally post pictures of what I'm up to. So have a nice day. Bye bye.